It was quite funny actually, I was in a post office in um, Waltham Abbey and I actually thought my mates were winding me up because there was like talk, we had a really good FA Cup run for Leighton Orient and um, there was talk that I was potentially being in the Welsh squad and um, you know, I thought it was one of my mates winding me up at first like, and John Toshak was on the phone and, um, and it sort of all sort of cascaded from there really. Um, just in terms of how it was like to be in the Wales setup, yeah, you're one of four players to make your debut against Trinidad and Tobago, who Wales face next week. Um, just describe what it was like being in the Wales setup and working under John Tashak, who had previously managed Real Madrid. Oh, well, to be honest, um, it's normal, normal football, really. Like sort of a bit, bit, a little bit more better quality generally in the squad than sort of what like I used to play with in League One and League Two. But um, but no, it's it's just sort of getting these. Football is a simple thing, isn't it? You just play football and away you go. To be fair, I remember the first time he sort of turned up with the squad, we were away in San Sebastian. We were just about to play Real... I think it was Real Sociedad, I think we were about to play. And um, I remember we all sat down at dinner and he sort of... Uh, John introduced himself, introduced uh, Gareth to everybody. And it was, he was like a young kid at the end of the day, like he was only 16 back then. Like, and I remember first training session, he played sort of on the left wing and he was flying along and every time he crossed it though, he crossed it behind a goal like, so the boys were getting a bit naggy with him. But no, fair to fair, and you could see he moved. He moved, he moved, he moved so quickly and so easily, you could see he had a little bit in him like, and obviously he's flourished himself and he's, and he's flown on. Well, certainly so. I think he's Wales' top scorer now, and sort of just taking over from Ian Rush. Oh yeah, he's one of the definite legends of Welsh football, and sort of sort of making his own imprint in world football as well. Like so, um, but no, all success is it's brilliant to be fair, and great to be associated with it at times. To be honest, I got on the Welsh national team, and I overachieved personally. I was um, at 16 and 17. I played local league football, and um, I didn't turn pro until I was 23. So I, I never done. First time I was ever coached when I was 23. So um, what I achieved, I was chuffed to bits with, to be honest. And I never thought I'd achieve what I, I achieved. And um, well, it doesn't seem much in the grand scheme of things, but more than enough for me. Well, when I was playing before I turned pro, I was playing in this league, the Welsh League Division One. So um, coming back to it, it's a nice way to finish your career, really. So. Um, but no, I still stood out there on a Saturday afternoon. I ain't walking around Asda, as I say to the lads like. So, um, but yeah, playing until he dropped really for me. So I just enjoy playing football. Yeah, it was funny walking off because it was amazing because four of my friends drove over from South Wales in a white transit van just to come to the game and they stayed in the same hotel as us. So I shared that with my friends and that was the only people who were there for me. And, it was weird, it was great, it was just time of life, it was really and what was going on at the time. And it wasn't the only squad I made and sort of um, along the line just part of the sort of qualifiers for the European Championships in the next couple of years like so. But no, surreal moments but um, great moments to look back upon. So part of my job in so I work in a school like so I coach a sort of college football team and teach there so yeah that's, that's part of my my everyday life really football so um, I'm just grateful to still be able to play to be honest at 42 lucky because I'm playing goal keep myself reasonably fit and um, no I just enjoy sort of being with the lads and sort of being out there on a Saturday afternoon you're a long time not playing so you might as well play for as long as you possibly can we're sort of we're getting working towards sort of moving up the league but our results have improved the last sort of few games and um, we just need to sort of string a couple of wins together now instead of it being every other week. So, um, but no, a couple of wins and we're out, out of the relegation zone and up the league line. Oh, certainly so. You look at that, um, look at the squad of which we got and the people coming through. Um, I remember watching Ryan Giggs' first home game and he, he watched that game and you're like, wow. And he was like a sort of a bit of a man and I did imprint into, into the team. So hopefully we can sort of continue in that vein and sort of whole country get behind the whole team and we always seem to do better when the whole country is behind the team no matter what the results are if we all sort of dig in together as a country like it helps the whole team and um, bring that positivity on the field and uh, gives the players confidence on the field as well